So before you watch this video, pause it, try the problem on your own. And then when you're ready to compare strategies, resume the video. Okay, so in this problem they tell us a ball is thrown in the air from the edge of a 48 uh, high, foot high cliff so that it eventually lands on the ground. The graph below shows the height y, so this is our height on the y-axis, of the ball from the ground after x seconds. So x is the seconds, y is the height. It might be a good idea as you approach this problem to label that so we don't lose track of that. So we have x seconds and y is our height. So here is at 48 at zero seconds, that's our cliff right there, the ball is thrown up. It peaks around here, so two and a half seconds, a little bit over 144 feet, and then about five and a half seconds it hits the ground, right? You can tell it hits the ground because that's the height of zero, I think, right? Because we're going up by increments of 16, 32 minus 16, minus 16 is zero. So ground level, and ground level is typically considered zero. For which interval is the ball's height always decreasing? So in other words, uh, what part of this graph is the ball's um, height decreasing or going towards the ground? And that, you can kind of sketch it out, is going from this point, which is called the vertex or the peak. The vertex is either a peak at the top or the bottom. Right, depending on the shape of the problem. If the problem is like a U, you get a vertex down here at the very bottom. It's the, either way, it's the turning point between decreasing and increasing, or in this case, rising, right? This rising part right here, and then the decreasing part after, right here. So this is all decreasing here. So where is that? Well, if we look at our seconds, because we're looking at seconds here, oops, that's about two and a half seconds is the x value here, all the way up to about five and a half seconds. So I say from two and a half to five and a half, this uh, ball is definitely decreasing. And the closest answer to that is choice three. Uh, and I think this is a, if they put x is greater than or equal to two and a half, I would still pick choice three because we know for sure after two and a half it's decreasing. All right, so this interval x is larger than two and a half, but less than five and a half. This interval right here from zero up into two and a half, right, choice one, that's the decreasing interval right there. Choice two, zero to five and a half, that's the whole interval. And x is greater than or equal to two, is I think a random choice kind of. Uh, it's just anything above two seconds, above or equal to two seconds. So, thank you.